Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host Chris Jack and today we're checking out one of the craziest pairs of shoes to drop in 2019. It's none other than the Sakai collaboration on the Nike LDV Waffle. Let's check them out. Perfect! Perfect! So this shoe first appeared in Paris Fashion Week 2018 on the runway where people check this thing out. We're like, what the hell are those things? They are absolutely insane uh, and completely different to anything that we've really seen before. The reason being is this is actually a hybrid of two shoes, the LDV uh, Waffle Racer and uh, the Waffle Runner, two incredibly old shoes from Nike, which Sakai have taken as inspiration and pretty much squashed them together right here to create the LDV Waffle. Uh, this particular shoe is one of two uh, colorways that have released so far. The other one looks like that. Uh, and there are uh, at least rumors and early leak pictures of uh, future colorways to come. So if you didn't manage to get one of these pairs, uh, you will probably have an opportunity to get another colorway in the future. Speaking about the shoe itself, this has one of the most iconic outsoles on it, the waffle, at least with the waffle iron print uh, texture on it, which is something Bill Bauman, as far as I remember, created way back in the early stages of Nike on their running shoes to give them improved traction and grip on foot. The midsole itself, as you can see, is doubled up and pretty much everything else on the shoe is doubled up as well, but you will notice that there has an extended uh, midsole piece which sticks out the back of the shoe. This is something I wasn't quite sure I was gonna really enjoy, but having them in hand, I'm an absolute fan of it. Even though from a functional point of view, it's probably not the greatest thing for driving and stairs and things like that. Uh, and it's something that I reckon is probably gonna get pretty messed up uh, along with some of the other features on the shoe that we'll get to with extended wear of it. Uh, moving into the upper of the shoe, you will notice an overlaid swooshed here. The outer layer of that is an orange and the under layer is a black leather that has been stitched onto this mesh upper, which is an incredibly thin mesh upper They're done in light green. The rest of the materials include a dual layer suede toe box uh, guard over here uh, and in the heel section with a dual heel cup uh, in the mustard and this olive green color as well. And that continues into the lacing section of the shoe with that dual layer around the laces. And speaking of laces, these do come factory laced with a white and a gray pair, which has been dual laced uh, into the shoe just to give it that double look as well. They do also provide you with a black and a white set if you want to change it up in the shoes but i don't know this looks like a serious mission to unlace and relay so i'm going to leave them like this because i don't really mind that look right now i think it looks pretty awesome and moving up into the tongue one of my favorite features of the sakai includes a double tongue over here the outer layer is an exposed and non-stitched layer uh, and that has the nike sportswear branding on it and then flipped just behind that you've got the nike and sakai co-branding on a more traditional waffle tongue swinging around into the heel section of the shoe the nike and sakai Kai dual branding in this particular instance is overlaid also just keeping with the theme of the double layered everything uh, and that is also present on the insole of the shoe which is glued in there so you'll just have to see it from the overlay shot from a sizing perspective I did go true to size and there is some space here in the toe box of the shoe uh, there are another two waffle variations the tailwind and the uh, daybreak here which I have experienced the same uh, space in the toe box at true to size so depending on your foot shape you might want to consider taking a half size down in this pair and the other two pairs I've just showed you uh, just to basically restrict the amount of uh, available space in the toe box if it's something that's going to annoy you. But for me, I'm happy with true to size. The shoe itself is quite a narrow one, uh, so I would be worried about going down uh, a half size uh, just from the narrowness uh, of the shoe. But you know that's all up to you if you do have an opportunity to try these on then definitely do that uh, before buying them uh, they are obviously sold out now so you will have to look to the resale market like stock x code etc they are sitting depending on your size from about 420 dollars and upwards uh, it's another shoe that i think that uh, possibly could raise in value over time but if the market does get saturated uh, with a whole bunch of different colorways of the shoe then they might come down over time but time will tell for that if i were you i wouldn't sleep on the ldv sakai waffle and get them while you can but that's it for the review of the sakai ldv waffle if you guys did like this video please hit the like button below and subscribe for more content reviews and vlog content down the line in the future here on sneaker stories youtube if you do have any questions please drop them down in the comments below or you can find me on sneakerstories.tv on instagram uh, where we do live uh, q a sessions and all of that kind of stuff there as well so make sure you follow there and subscribe 
subscribe here. Otherwise, that's it for the review. I'll catch you soon.